Thank you. So thank you uh, all the Optica team to uh, for organizing this uh, online conference. Uh, so my name is Julien Charton. I am the founder and uh, chief scientific officer for the Alpao company in France. So uh, our products are used in many different uh, optical applications, but uh, of course today we'll focus on the free space optical communication. And the title is How Can We Recover the Lost uh, Power Decibels uh, with Adaptive Optics? Um, so let's jump to uh, the problem and solution uh, that we address. Uh, so uh, in uh, FSO, this is a very simple schematic of uh, FSO system. So you have a satellite, you have a, a laser for the downlink. I will focus uh, on the downlink uh, right now. And you have an optical um, uh, ground station. And the purpose of this station is uh, to use a telescope to uh, basically uh, uh, feed the light into a monomode optical fiber. Um, the problem is the turbulence, atmospheric turbulence that you find every, everywhere on Earth, of course. Uh, and even if the, the laser beam from the satellite is perfectly, uh, the wavefront is flat and the beam is perfectly uh, aligned and stable, after the turbulence layer, which most of it is close to the Earth, uh, you will have uh, this kind of uh, picture at the focal plane of the telescope. So the yellow circle is actually the optical fiber where you want to uh, put all the photons in. And uh, the image is what you actually have. Uh, so you see that uh, we are very far from a diffraction limited image. And you see that most of the light is not inside the fiber and it is very unstable. So the loss, the typical loss you have compared to uh, a link without the turbulence is typically uh, uh, 40 uh, decibel. And on top of that, it is very unstable. So it makes the, the job of the demodulation and error correction algorithm uh, much more difficult. So what is the solution we propose? It is based on uh, adaptive optics. So I won't go into the detail, but one of the main uh, components inside uh, an adaptive optic system is a waveform correction device. So at Alpha, we are uh, developing a deformable mirror based on the uh, electromagnetic actuator. The picture below uh, is an example of a uh, product we, we, we provide. And inside it, uh, you have actually a very thin membrane. This is the mirror itself. Uh, so, of course, you can use any coating on, uh, on top of it, so you have a very good uh, reflection. But below this membrane, you have a lot of small actuators, uh, little coils, little, little magnets, so, and hundreds of uh, electromagnetic actuators. And with this, you can push and pull the membrane to change the shape of the mirror and uh, it will actually compensate, it will cancel the wavefront error that has been uh, caused by the uh, atmospheric turbulence. And the result, uh, these uh, images are real images taken uh, on a real telescope uh, that, uh, where we are operating uh, an, adapti an adaptive optic system. Uh, you see the result on the right uh, animation. And you see that you can correct most of the perturbation. You can uh, recover uh, almost diffraction limited uh, image. Most of the flux is inside the monomode fiber, in, inside the, the, the yellow circle, uh, and it is much more stable. And uh, the, there is a residual loss, but you go from uh, typically 40 dB on a 50 centimeter telescope, which is typical for uh, one optical one station. Uh, to three um, dB uh, only. So this is really the, the key component. Of course, to operate this wavefront corrector, you also need typically a wavefront sensor and some real-time uh, algorithm, real-time um, computers to close the feedback loop. But uh, at Alpo, we are really focused on a full package that you can put between the focal plane of the telescope and the optical fiber. Uh, and we focus on correcting the light to uh, optimize the injection inside the, the fiber. 